In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full length tutorial of the dropshipping supplier CJ Dropshipping. CJ Dropshipping have an extensive catalog of thousands of products that you can start selling. They are able to ship products to customers within five to 10 days. And you can also source products on their platform from other supplier platforms such as AliExpress. So I am going to be giving you a full length tutorial I'll be showing you how you can go and source products using CJ Dropshipping, how to import products from CJ Dropshipping to your Shopify stores, how to set up things like custom packaging for your products, and also how to fulfill orders using the CJ Dropshipping platform. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you are going to want to do is head over to cjdropshipping.com. I will leave a link in the description. And from the homepage, you are going to click on register. From here, you can enter in your email address and choose a password and then click on next. You can choose a username for your CJ Dropshipping account, enter in your first name, last name and your mobile number and click on confirm. You can then go and fill out this questionnaire. So just choose the platform that you're looking to connect, how many orders you are processing per day and the category that you're looking to sell in. And then you can click on next. You will then see store authorization don't worry about this for now. I'm going to show you how to connect your store to your CJ Dropshipping account in a moment. So just click on skip. You will then be asked to verify your email address by CJ Dropshipping. So just click on verify email and then you can send yourself a verification code. So just click on send. You can enter in that verification code and click on verify. You will then have verified your email address. So just click on confirm. The first thing you are going to do is connect your Shopify store to your CJ dropshipping account. So just click on my CJ. You will then be brought to your CJ dropshipping dashboard. On the left hand side, you will see the authorization tab. You can of course go and connect other types of stores. So for example, a TikTok shop or a WooCommerce store. However, we are going to be connecting a Shopify store. So we are just going to click on Shopify. You will then see that it says you haven't authorized any stores yet. So just head over to your Shopify store click on apps, click on app and sales channel settings and click on Shopify app store. And from here, you can simply search CJ dropshipping and then go and choose the CJ dropshipping app. You can then click on install and you can click on install again. You will then be brought over to CJ dropshipping. So click on authorize and click on confirm. You will then see authorization success. And if you come to the left hand tabs again, you can come to authorization and click on Shopify. And from here, you should see that your Shopify store has now been connected to your CJ dropshipping account. So now you're ready to start searching for some products that you will import to your Shopify store that you can start selling. So what we can do is you can go and click on the CJ dropshipping logo. And from here, you can start searching through the categories to find some products that you want to sell. So for example, if I wanted to start selling women's boots, I can come to the bags and shoes category and click on women's boots. And then you will see loads of different products in that category that you can start selling. Alternatively, you can go and use the search bar to search for some products that you want to sell. So for example, if I type in orthopedic sandals and I hit enter, you will see that there are loads of different products once again related to the search term that I can start selling. Finally, you can also use the search by image feature. So if you click on this and you can choose an image of a product that you want to sell and click on open. And from here, you will be shown products that you can start selling that are the same or similar to the product that you searched using the image search. Finally, if you cannot find a product that you want to sell on CJ dropshipping, you can make a sourcing request. So on the left hand side here, you can come to service and click on sourcing. From here, you can post a sourcing request of the product that you are looking to source. So you can click on post sourcing request. From here, you will see store existing product and individual product. So you can either choose a product that's already on your store or you can post an individual product. So we're gonna go for individual product. You can then fill out the sourcing request form. So you can enter in the name of the product that you're looking to source upload an image of the product that you're looking to source, enter in your target price, a sourcing URL. So this could be a URL from AliExpress, for example, 
You can enter in a description of the product that you're looking to source, and you can choose whether you will accept similar products. So if you do tick this, CJ Dropshipping might be able to source you a very similar product, but it won't be the exact product. You can then click on Request for Sourcing. You will then be able to see updates of your sourcing requests under the Sourcing tab. It usually takes a few days for CJ Dropshipping to be able to give you an outcome of your sourcing requests. So if they have been able to source the product, you will see Sourcing Succeeded. Then you can click on these three dots and list the product to your Shopify store. If they have been able to find you a similar product, it will show as similar product. Again, you can click on these three dots and go and list the product to your store. And if they weren't able to find the product for whatever reason, which is quite rare, they will leave a reason as to why they weren't able to source the product. So you can, of course, go and post sourcing requests if you aren't able to find the product on their platform. So now let's move on to importing a product from CJ Dropshipping to your Shopify store. So once you have found a product that you want to import to your dropshipping store, you can simply click on list. Now, of course, you can purchase a sample beforehand if you want to check the quality of the product, but we will just focus on importing the product. So you can click on list. From here, you can select the store that you want to import the product to. You can go and choose a product type and enter in a product vendor. So most likely this is going to be the name of your store. You can then go and edit the title of the product. Now, don't worry if you don't get this right straight away. You can also go and re-edit the titles again once you have imported the product to your Shopify store. So if you do go and enter in a title and you decide you want to change it, don't panic. You can do that from the back end of your Shopify store as well. You can go and choose a collection that you want to add the product to. You can also add some product tags if you want to. And then you can go over to variant pricing. From here, you can select which of the product variants you want to import to your store. You can also go and update any of the variant names. So for example, if I wanted to change this from coffee to brown, I could just go and update all of these variant names to brown. So if you're not happy with any of the variant names for whatever reason, you can go and change the variant names. The same with the sizes. If I wanted to go and change these to US or UK sizes, I could easily go and update these sizes here. You can also then go and choose the pricing for the products once you import them to your store. So you will see the pricing here. So you can go and enter in the pricing individually for each variant that you're going to sell, or you can simply click on this tick box here. It will select all of the variants, and then you can go and enter in one bulk price in here. So for example, if I wanted to sell these sandals for $39.99, I can simply enter that in and click on OK. And then you will see it will add the listing price to every variant of the product. You can also see up the top here, it will say ship most of my orders to. So you can go and choose the country where you get most of your orders from or the main audience that you target your store towards. And then you can go and choose a shipping method for that country as well. Now, don't worry, when you fulfill your orders, depending on which country the order comes from, you can go and choose individual shipping methods. So you don't need to go and pick one here and think that that is completely set in stone. You can always go and change the shipping method when you are fulfilling your orders. This just goes and adds this as the default for fulfillment. You can then go over to images and videos. And you can go and select all of the images and videos that you want to import to your Shopify store. You can also go and select a cover image. So you can always go and change the cover image by clicking set as cover image. You can then head over to the description. And from here, you can update the product description if you want to before you push the product to your Shopify store. Once again, don't worry if you do want to update the product description later on because you can do this from the Shopify backend as well. So you can then just click on list it now. It will then say listing in progress. So just give this a few moments to list the product to your store. After a few moments, you will see listed successfully and you can click on view it in store. And then you will see the product has been imported to your store successfully. Of course, you can go and update the titles, descriptions and images if you want to from your Shopify dashboard. You can then head back to CJ Dropshipping. And next up, I am going to show you how you can go and set up custom packaging for your products. So we can simply go and close this. And in order to set up custom packaging on the left hand side, 
you can come down to service and click on custom packaging. From here, you will see different types of packaging that you can purchase to use as custom packaging for your products. And these will be applicable to different types of products and each type of custom packaging will have a different minimum order quantity. So for example, you can see these watch boxes here. If you are selling watches, the MOQ is 300. If you are selling necklaces, you can see these jewelry boxes and the MOQ is 10. So you can simply scroll through to find the type of packaging that you're looking for for your particular product that you are selling. Up the top, you can go and filter the packaging. So for example, if we do go to cartons and we can see different types of boxes that are available depending on the product that you are selling. Now, if you're not sure what type of packaging to get for your product, you can always go and contact your personal agent. So if you do just hover over your account here, you can click on your name and then on the tabs on the left hand side, you can click on profile. And then from here, you will see contact your personal agent. So when you click on online contact, you can contact your personal agent and you can just say, I'm looking to create custom packaging for this product. Can you recommend some sizes of packaging that I should go for? And they'll be able to help you out with the types of packaging that you can use to connect to that product if you're not sure what packaging to use. You can also contact your agent through WhatsApp if you connect your WhatsApp account. So just click on contact under WhatsApp and you can go and connect your WhatsApp to CJ Dropshipping. However, I know the type of packaging that I want to create for my custom packaging. So I am just gonna go back to custom packaging. I am just going to go and type in shoebox and click on search. And I am going to go for these customized shoe boxes here. Now, if you do see POD, print on demand, next to the custom packaging, that means that you can go and customize the packaging from the front end of CJ Dropshipping. If you don't see POD, you will have to contact your agent so that they can go and get your logo file and add it to the packaging for you. So if we just go and get rid of this, for example, and I hit search again, as I scroll down, you will see that there are different types of packaging that say POD and some of them don't. So if we have a look at these transparent frosted zipper bags, they have POD. So that means that you can go and just customize them straight away. If we scroll down, you can see these LED light ring box. Again, it says POD. You can go and customize these right away. So I will just go and show you the difference. So if we just go and scroll back up, again, I will simply just go and type in shoe box and click on search. If I choose these shoe boxes here, I can click on this product. And as you can see, if I want to customize this packaging, I have to click on customize, and then I need to go and request a quote to customize this packaging. However, if we go to the packaging with POD, I will just click on this one, and you will see with this type of packaging, I can click on this start design button. So I can go and edit this packaging and customize it straight from the CJ Dropshipping dashboard. So I'm just going to pick the size and the color of the packaging that I want to create, and I am going to click on start design. You can then go and select the color of your packaging. So I'm gonna go for the brown boxes, and then I can go and upload an image. So you can go and upload an image of your logo to add to your packaging. So we'll click on upload image. I am just going to choose my logo and click on open. And from here, you can go and edit your logo size. So I'm just going to move this. I'm going to make it a bit smaller, and then I can go and align it to the center again. So I am just going to grab the corner, make it a little bit smaller. Again, I can click on these buttons here to center align it. Once you are happy with your packaging design, you can click on save. You can enter in a product title. So you can go and name your packaging based after the product that you are going to connect it to. So for example, if you're selling watches, you can just go and name it watch box. So I'm just gonna go and call this shoe boxes. But if you want to have different types of shoe boxes for different types of shoes, for example, I could go and say shoe boxes for sneakers or shoe boxes for smart shoes. So you can just go and name your packaging appropriately. You can go and choose the size that you want and the color that you want. You can also give it a description as well if you want to. Then you can click on save again. And once you have saved your packaging, you will see that it says you can view it in my CJ custom packaging, my custom packaging. So we can click on view and under the custom packaging tab, you can go to my custom packaging and you will see the custom packaging that you just created. So now you need to purchase it. So we are going to click on purchase. You can go and choose the quantity of the amount of packaging that you want to purchase. 
So I'm just going to go for the minimum order, which is 10. So it's only going to cost me $16.70, which is super affordable to be able to go and add custom packaging to my products. And then I'm going to click on pay. You can choose a payment method to pay for your custom packaging. So I'm going to pay with card, but you can also choose Pioneer or PayPal, or you can top up your CJ wallet using your card. So I'm just going to click on pay by paying with card. Once you have completed the payment, you will be brought back to your CJ dropshipping dashboard and your order for your custom packaging will say pending. You can then go and connect that packaging to one of your products. So any product that you have listed and imported to Shopify, if you come to products and click on my products, you will see those products. From here, you can find a product that you want to connect your custom packaging to. So you can click on these three dots and click on packaging connection. You can then click on applied to product. So that means that you're connecting your customized packaging to a specific product. And then you can click on custom design and you will see the custom packaging that you just designed and purchased. So you can just go and choose this. You can then go and choose the size and the color, and then you can click on add, and then you can click on confirm. You will then see that the product has this green bar that says view packaging. If you click on this, and from here, you will see the custom packaging that you have connected to that product. So now anytime someone orders that product, it will be sent out in that custom packaging with your logo on. And this is a really great way to build a brand around your store. So for the last part of this tutorial, I just want to show you how to fulfill an order once somebody purchases a product from your Shopify store and how you can go and fulfill that through CJ Dropshipping. So in order to fulfill an order with CJ Dropshipping, from your CJ Dropshipping dashboard, on the left-hand side, you can come to the Orders tab and click on Store Orders. You are then going to click on Sync Store Orders. Choose the store that you want to sync your orders from. Click on Sync By. Choose Time. And then you can go and choose the dates that you want to sync your orders for. Then just click on Sync Now. You will then see the total numbers of orders that have been synced to your store. Now, in order to fulfill all of these orders at once, you can simply click on this tick box here and select all of your orders. Once you do this, you can go and select the shipping method for each order. So you will see the default shipping method, which is CJ Packet Ordinary. But if you do want to choose a different shipping method for the order, you can click on select and you can choose to select a faster shipping method. So for example, CJ Packet Fast Ordinary is four to nine days, but it is $6 more. So I'm just going to leave it as the default and then you can click on add to orders picking. Up the top, you will see orders picking. So just click on this. Again, you will see all of your orders. So you can go and select all of your orders. And now you can click on submit to go and fulfill those orders. So if you just click on submit, and then from here, you will see all of the orders that you are about to fulfill. And you will see the total product cost and the total shipping cost and then you can click on submit again. You can then simply pay for your orders using card, PayPal, Pioneer, or by topping up your CJ wallet. So I'm just going to pay with card. Once you have completed the payment for your orders, you will see the order status. Once the order has been shipped, you will see that the fulfillment status from your Shopify dashboard will also be updated and all of the tracking numbers will be synced automatically with your Shopify orders and those tracking numbers will be sent by email to your customers automatically. So you don't need to worry about updating the tracking numbers and sending out emails to your customers. So there you have it. That is how you can start using the CJ Dropshipping Supplier for your Shopify dropshipping stores. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you do want to check out my private community and see a behind the scenes case study of one of my stores that has done over 700K in revenue, then check out the link in the description to my community, Dropship Discovery. Give the video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.